Cheryl. You could have saved us. I would have. Graham, what? What have you done? I thought you were safe. You only wanted to save yourself. It's OK, I'm... I'm here. Kane told me about Chaz. It's OK. She's OK. Kane's gone to the hospital to see Sarah, so he's going to take a few days to calm down. We'll get you some help. I don't want help. Not from you. You've done enough. Enough how? I only went to the pub because you cleared out the stash. If I'd done a better job of it, it wouldn't be in this state. What changed? It's always her. Nothing. Why do you care? How can you ask me that? I care. And I'm the only one who does. The only one who can't face to see you dead in a ditch one day because of your twisted need to destroy yourself over your dead wife. And my daughter. I killed them both that day. You made a mistake. How do you do that? Do what? Turn it off. Your conscience. Because I wish I was unfeeling like you, Joe. I wish I could see people as things you throw out with the rest of the rubbish when I'm done with them. But even after all these years of watching you carve up decent person after person, I still don't know how to stop completely caring. I'm here for you, aren't I? I care about you. Until I've served my usefulness and I'm out on that rubbish heap with the rest of them. When did you become so full of self-pity? I did not drag you from that fire so you could go back to wallowing your life away. You had no right to rescue me. I had no choice. We should have left you to burn, like you left us. I wanted to burn. And you stole that from me. It's me. I'm in trouble. The army will discharge me for this. I've had a crash. Just a drop. They'll throw me out anyway. I need your help. No, 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 no. A soulless husk of a man going through life desperately trying to feel something. Because you know, deep down, that you're completely unworthy and unlovable. <laughs>